Hello, hello, Mass Singers here. Over the years, I have helped lots and lots of SEO entrepreneurs grow and scale agencies. And what I want to share with you today is the first part of some of the most critical aspects that I see people do. It's not necessarily wrong, but it's often ineffective. So the first step is about niching down. Now, most people don't get this right. And it's not because they don't necessarily understand what niching down means, but more because a lot of time when people niche, talk about niching down, they're talking about niching down into e-commerce SEO or niching down into only working with lawyers or whatever. But when it comes to niching down, the most effective focus is typically when you niche down based on a particular process. So it's often less depending on the type of customers, but it's the most important piece is the type of process that you're niching down to. The reason why this matters so much is because most SEO business owners or most SEO agency business owners are often sitting in a situation where they themselves are so detrimental to the continuation of the company. So if you ask most business owners in the SEO agency world and say, if you take three months holiday and don't work, what happens? And in most cases, that is absolutely fundamental for the business, right? They often crash and burn. And unfortunately, that's the case. Now, if you build a company that is dependent on you as the business owner, you're having a single point of failure, right? And that's both difficult and it's dangerous. It makes it much harder to run the business. And most importantly, it makes it very difficult to also sell the business at some point. So the key things here is when you're niching down, you want to niche down based on a particular process. Because fundamentally, you want to deliver something which is of a very similar process from delivery to delivery to delivery. So as an example, if I walk into an SEO agency and see that, you know, one day they're doing e-commerce SEO for some e-commerce client, the next day they're doing local SEO for a local SEO client, or even people who is doing local SEO for multiple different clients, often the process differ. And it often makes it really hard for them to work with teams and hire teams that are one effective at that job, but more so relatively quick to train up to know and do what they need to do. So when you look at businesses and organizations in particular, organizations exist for specialization of labor. What most SEOs do is they have themselves in the beginning and they try and clone themselves. So they really try and build themselves up in a situation where they have someone that knows what they know. But as an SEO, if it takes you three, four, five years to learn a ton of skills, it will also take you a significant amount of time training someone to do it, which makes scaling extremely difficult. If you look at scaling the other way around, you're basically looking at breaking down the process you have. So the process that is your business, breaking it into silos and teaching people a part of that silo. When you do that, one, training new staff becomes much easier. Two, making new staff deliver and being able to actually see if they deliver is significantly easier. And three, it enables you to grow and scale faster because you can bring new people in to each of the silos much faster, train them much faster, and therefore deliver much more consistent, deliver faster. But the key thing for you as a business owner is that you put yourself in a situation where you're not needed all day, every day. And this is really the key aspect, right? So let's run through some examples. So a really good friend of mine ended up starting an SEO agency and initially they were doing just local SEO. And like many, he was struggling. He was getting clients right, left and center. They often didn't know the niche particularly well and so on. And at one point he had two clients in the dental niche. And he was like, wow, these two clients are great. They have money, they pay on time. I love them. And what he did was he basically ended up zooming in on just dental. And he said, I want more of these specific clients. And, you know, because they're in different cities all over the world or uh, all over the country, at least, um, you know, we can use the same template for them. So what he did was he spent months trying to take the template he liked the most and really optimizing that for conversion rates, optimizing it for, you know, customer experience and really making sure that this template was absolutely solid. What he did after that was he 
basically went through and he lined out all the pages, had the keyword research done up front to a very narrow degree or to a very in-depth degree. And as he had that, the team and him started building out content briefs for each and every piece of content. Now, obviously, this is not so relevant on a particular blog where you might keep doing thousands of pieces of content. But for all the most critical pages, this was a key step. So he built this up and he built a whole repository and he understood and, and he had done this research for multiple clients all over the country to try and make sure he really covered all the keywords and so on and services or whatever was relevant to that system. So after he had done this, first of all, his ability to deliver increased, uh, his cost to deliver significantly decreased because he already had exactly the right templates to get to write. Now, the writers would write different things because they were given, even though they were given a similar template, the output would never be exactly the same, all right? So different clients would have different pieces of content, but the content briefs were the same. Generally, the theme they used was the same. Now, they updated a little bit with logos and colors and so on, but but fundamentally the functions and how everything worked was the same. So that meant his team knew exactly how to do everything in this theme. They know exactly how to set it up. Now, when he had dentists coming to him and wanting to use their own site and say, hey, we want your SEO and we want your services, but we want to use our own site. He simply said, no, thanks. That does not fit into our process. Now, most entrepreneurs are so eager, particularly in the early stages, saying, oh, yeah, customers come here, come here. But he was very, very keen on making sure that he really aligned his process to be as simple as possible, as easy as possible to deliver, and most importantly, adding a ton of value to the client, right? Because of this, he was able to actually push out the site at probably 20% of the cost as when he used to build a custom solution for every client, right? So his cost to push out things decreased significant, right? Now, because he was doing this at scale, his team understood all the words the customer were talking about. They understood the jargon. They understood the, generally the customer demand. They understood what customers needed much, much better. So the, the impact and the value delivered to the clients were actually higher. So lower cost to deliver, higher impact, much faster speed. And his ability to scale his team grew so much because the people who used to be developers to build site now only had to customize the template. The content managers that used to write new briefs every time now used the exact same briefs and just had to make sure the content was good. And so on through the process, everything got streamlined and his overall delivery cost was cut down to 30% of what he used to use. So he used to have a solid budget to pushing every new client live when he just did local for different companies. It actually, he reduced 70% of the cost of doing that and increased the value to the clients, which meant he could charge more money. So over time, he kept increasing his prices because the clients saw the value they were getting, right? So this was the way to run an agency in a way that one, didn't need him because it was super easy for him to teach his team and help his team understand how to do this effectively. Two, it generated significantly more profits for him. And three, scaling becomes so easy because he could hire people in the different teams, teach them the exact process, exactly what they have to do, so much easier. And this is a great example of scaling process. I've seen other people do it in other niches. So I've seen a couple of Pinterest companies do it, for example, where a lot of companies, again, they do social media and it's so many different processes. Whereas if you pick out a particular social media and really drill in and decide with yourself, what is it, it, what is it exactly you provide, right? A lot of time with social media, customer want this and this and that, and, and they want different packages and different frequency. Again, if you go the other way and say, we only do Pinterest or we only do Facebook, and this is exactly what we deliver, and this is exactly how we deliver. Now, again, you can ease down to a particular profession as well, but a lot of the time, it's about niching down and making sure you have a clear process on how to deliver. And as soon as you have a clear process on how to deliver something, it's really scaling that. 
So it's having a clear process, knowing that it get the customers a great outcome and then charging accordingly, right? So again, the last issue I see with many owners, business owners is that they charge too little. And the problem is if something goes wrong or if something isn't great, they can't really afford to fix it because they're charging very little money. So if you charge more money, there's two key things that happens. Number one is people expect to get better results, right? Which is often what you look at and you say, well, if I pay more money and I want better results, can I do that? But the whole thing is, as most people would agree, if you have one customer that pay you $3,000 a month, that is a lot easier to deal with than if you have three separate customers that pay you $1,000 a month, right? Three customers, three websites, it's a lot harder to manage than one customer with one website. So the ability to scale when you charge more, the ability to fix issues that comes up, your ability to hire better people simply becomes better. And this is fundamentally what you're looking for.